Hi, my wee lambs. Today, I'm going to start off the day by opening my advent calendars. So this is my me to you one that Dee bought me. Thank you very much for my calendar, Dee. So today, we're looking for number four. Ha! Spotted it. So, and number four, and we have, ooh, Christmas isn't the same without funny, cra oh, crackers. Funny crackers. Huh. And the little bears are kissing. Let's go into the chocolate. These are kind of difficult to open on camera, so bear with me. I'll get it out later. It's kind of difficult to open. So this one is my jewellery calendar, and yesterday I got another little pair of gold earrings, and the day before I got a little bow necklace. So we're looking for number four, dun, 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 which is down here at the side, number four. Ooh, I don't know what this is. What's this? What is this? Ah, cool, it's a ring. Thank you, mom and dad. So today I'm going to the local shops with Dee for a little bit to hang out, to get a few bits and bobs. See, for most people, December is like, yay, it's Christmas. But for me, I have not one, not two, but three birthdays in December, then Christmas. And two of those birthdays are the same week as Christmas. So I have to go and get some birthday presents for the first one, which is this Wednesday, my dad's. Um, yeah, so come with me on our adventure with Dee, who's a little camera shy. Okay, so I'm on my way to the shops and I thought I'd talk to you as I'm walking. <laughs> FYI, I have the cold and I'm outside. Oh, and I decided to try this time whilst I was having the cold and eat more, so I've ate too much and feel a bit sick. But that's my own doing. <sighs> So what do you guys do to help yourself go over the cold? Last year I had a really bad chest infection on top of a cold and I was eating a lot of soup. Usually I just normally have a lot of liquids and I don't feel like eating but these last two times I've forced myself to eat. I finally updated, there's cars going past, finally updated Pokemon Go so I can get that playing again. I was being a bit lazy about updating all my apps. I'm still listening to the Absolute Radio Frank Skinner podcast. Um, I've now got the radio app, excuse me, I'll scratch my leg, so I can listen to it live on Saturday mornings. I'm just crossing the road. <sighs> Little plug for the Frank Skinner show there. <laughs> Not sponsored by them, I just absolutely love listening to it. <sighs> Do you guys out there listen to any podcasts? And when I say podcasts, I don't mean like video ones, I mean like ones that are like a radio show because the one I listen to is actually a radio show and they obviously remove the music and the adverts and turn it into a podcast which apparently a lot of people listen to when they're running so I've been given a shopping list for stuff to get did you ever play that game when you were younger? the shopping list member game and you have to repeat what the other person said so it's like birthday cake inflatable toy, shampoo, nappies, and then you add something on, then the other person has to repeat it. <laughs> it was quite a fun game. I always enjoyed playing it. So I phoned D, my lovely partner, and he was like, hey, I'm just going to get changed and I'll be ready to meet you. This is my first time vlogging with there's people about. I have done vlogging before there was a work coming about, but they couldn't really hear me because we're in the distance. <sighs> um, you know what? I'm trying to debate which way to go. Do I go up and over the hill, which takes me slightly out of the way, or do I go straight ahead where it's more flatter? See, because I'm not feeling too good, 
I'm just trying to put some comfy clothes on and well I'll get my jeans on and my trainers which I don't know if you can see they're bright pink I don't know if you saw that but they are bright pink they're out Primark see I have size two feet believe it or not so I have to buy at the kids section and everybody's like oh that's so good because you don't have to pay tax like you don't have to pay VAT but if you're trying to find shoes as a late 20 something year old woman for a job interview for work for a wedding for maybe a date you know all these important things Papa Pig shoes are not appropriate flurry shoes are not appropriate <sighs> Like, I have so much hassle trying to find shoes and also trousers that fit me likewise because I'm quite short. Crossing the road. And yes, I am walking over and walking. People are looking at me strangely. Oh. <sighs> so, did any of you guys watch Judge Judy? Me and my mum were sitting watching Judge Judy while we were having some lunch and we noticed a recurring theme. Like a lot of people either get their parents to buy them a car. Bear in mind this is America, so in America you learn to drive when you're about 16, 17. Um, or they borrowed someone's car and damaged it. And the case we were watching today, the judge was like, Well, sir, who do you think should pay for the damages to this car? And he was like, her meaning his ex-girlfriend and she went nope you you're liable so we noticed that it's a recurring theme we quite often have car themes and pet themes as well and also like children being misbehaving or like um someone's parents wanting some money off their children for maybe lots of babysitting that they've done because you know people always ask the grandparents can you babysit Ah, and beats a good episode of Judge Judy at the weekends, or like lunch or breakfast. Pardon me, full of wind. I think it's because I'm vegetarian. Nothing to be ashamed of, everybody gets wind. <laughs> what a slightly disgusting note came out with that. Oh, there's a gritter about to pass by. It must be cold. Ah! The reason I'm turning my face like that is because the gritter sprays out. Oh man. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yes, um, I heard an acquaintance don't talk to me anymore because I think he moved away. And he was like, what are you talking about? Women don't burp and fart. I was like, yeah, they do. So he was like, God, then, couldn't then fart. And I was like, they'll be disgusting. Now there's a bus. And everybody on that bus is not even noticing I'm vlogging. This is I'm walking people in the street or like what is she doing? Like I can see why other people on YouTube feel a bit awkward. <laughs> vlogging. I live about ten minutes away from the shops. <laughs> There's a car passed by me kinda slowish with hardly any noise and for some reason I thought somebody was going to pass by me on a push bike when it was a car I was like oh now I can hear birds I'm walking underneath trees this street has loads of trees <sighs> okay speaking of the world and things if you could live for the rest of your life anywhere you want regardless of your situation money wise or job where would you live and why There's another car slow path. I forget in this street the cars slow down to let each other pass. I was half expecting for something. I go, excuse me, love. And do you know where such and such is? No. <laughs> I, I know Glasgow like the back of my hand, but this place, nah. <laughs> Lived here a long, long time and I'm still getting to know it. Okay, back to what I was saying. Hmm. Where was I left? I kind of like the idea of living in London. No crossing over to get. But it's expensive. I also like the idea of moving to Sweden. Um, I, I don't know what it's like to live in Sweden, but I've heard good things about it. And that's the reason why I feel like they have a better way of life than we do. And 
because of Brit exit, that might not be possible anymore. I don't know if I'd seriously consider that. Oh damn. It'd be you know, a good opportunity I suppose. Um I am on the phone just telling me I've picked up somebody's Wi Fi. Um I have a relative who up six to show ya. And now she is living in America due to work. And apparently when she first moved to show you people were like, Why are you not going to other parts of Europe? Everybody wants to go to Australia these days. Anyways, I shall see you in a bit because I'm getting funny stairs and I'm going to go. Bye. Well, I'm at the shops with Dee and this is my very first time trying a smoothie and this is a lemon crush with pineapple, I think strawberry, raspberry, lemon and some kind of sorbet. So here goes. Mm, it's actually quite delicious and probably help with my cold. So. I've been doing a little bit of shopping. I got cards from my dad who's gonna kill me because I got one that says happy birthday from the dog from our little doggy. Because we have a shit too. So I'm with D but he's very camera shy. He's also gets a movie, what have you got? What kind? You can whisper to me. Some kind of thing with frozen yogurt in it. Question, are smoothies good for you? Leave a comment below. Okay, so we're in game. Can anybody figure out what's in this box? So we have new restaurants at my local shops in Pizza Express, Building Station, a lovely new Costa, Hammy Burger, Bella Italy, Chiquito, Nando's, Frankie Benny's. Again, this hasn't been the most exciting vlog, I must admit. Um, just shopping at my local shops. Um, for the essentials, I go locally, but for other things, I go to Glasgow. There's traffic in the past. Um, it's sometime after five. My bag's actually burst. Why do it at like, in Scotland you have to pay for carry bags and the bags that they give you are not good quality at all. I'm fed up paying 10, between 5 and 10 pence for bags that just box. And like, I know this might sound silly but I have a gift bag and it's inside the carry bag with other bits and bobs and the gift bag's actually tearing through the bag. <laughs> a terrible misery. So, me and Dee were browsing the shops for ages that so we'll track time and I missed the most important job I had to go to. Oops. <laughs> it's cold out and I walk slow because I'm carrying a lot of stuff. <sighs> Went home for a nice takeaway. It is Sunday the 1st of December. Yeah. And it's dinner time as I'm recording this. Um, so I'm not sure what time you'll be watching this is, but whatever you're doing, have a lovely time. Oh, I will see you. It's a Christmas tree. Woo! Yeah. I really hope that Judge Rinder and Oksana get kept in. I also really liked Ed Balls, but he's out. Um, somebody asked him on politics. No, sorry, somebody brunch this morning. Um, would he replace Len as a judge? But he doesn't know much about dancing. So who do you think would make a good replacement for uh, Len on Strictly? If you watch it, leave a comment below. This is the UK version of Dancing with the Stars.